y'all. I wanted to come really quick and show y'all how I um, clean my makeup brushes. A lot of people do it differently. I clean my makeup brushes and my beauty blenders this way. I know they look like super dirty, but I've been doing a lot of makeup looks. And um, they really been back to back, but I've been spacing them out. Um, what I was about to say. Um, yeah, so I use this coconut oil, some witch hazel. Which is it's like good for everything. Um, some baking soda. I use this to bathe with and to brush my teeth with. Um, and also use an uh, antibacteria um, soap. Um, and what else I put in here? And some alcohol. what it looks like um not using a tripod or nothing to do this so i'm trying to show y'all the best way i can and this um this technique is really good for your beauty blenders and all of that good stuff because they are like clogged with all that makeup and you don't want to continue to use this while uh applying fresh makeup because one it uh holds excess um makeup and it makes your makeup look bulky and cakey and all that stuff so um just dip it in there like this and it feels so nasty y'all but it works looks nasty too that's basically what you do you coat your beauty blenders I usually do it one at a time but I want to show y'all um, how I do it you see this this is like nasty I have to clean my brushes on my beauty blenders um, I think in a week that's so bad y'all don't do what I do but I've been doing a lot of makeup and my own makeup I'm not doing nobody else makeup with this stuff but um, yeah, and I've been lazy. I'm not gonna lie. I have been lazy. Been slacking on my videos. Not to y'all, but to me, I've been slacking. asked me about my brushes I I thought I already told y'all um I use F <coughs> excuse me I use F brushes and Mary Kay brushes those are the only ones I use that's what I do y'all I'm going to get started on cleaning these because this looks so nasty but um, yeah so I squeeze it as I put it in the water like this and that helps get all that makeup out see that y'all all that makeup, you see how it's coming out of the beauty blender. And uh, both of these beauty blenders, they do feel different. They don't feel the same. Um, this one right here in my hand was about um, $3 or... Yeah, I think it was $3. I got it from the dollar store. Y'all know how in the hood they have those big uh, dollar stores that have everything. And that's where I got this one from. 
And as y'all can see, it's coming out. You just really have to work it. Work it. And this beauty blender I got from Walmart. Um, it was $5. I can't remember who it was by because I bought this a while back even before I really knew what, what it was for. Before I knew about beauty blenders and all that stuff. I didn't know what the heck it was for but I was using it. And you just keep on doing this. Yeah, see it's getting cleaner. This one, it always takes me a while before it get like super clean because um, the way it feels, it feels much harder. So I always have to um, do this one more. And this right here, this is like one of those regular sponges. Um, I didn't really use this one that much at first because uh, I've been had it, but I think I bought it from the dollar store. I didn't really uh, use it that much. So this is probably my second time cleaning it. Um, yeah, but you can always, instead of cleaning your beauty blenders, if you got, you know, the money like that to just be buying them over and over and over like that, then feel free. Let me, I'm going to just clean the ones I have. And continue to use them until I feel like I need to just buy some more. So this is pretty much what I do, y'all. I'm going to continue to do this and clean all the other brushes. And then I'll be back to show y'all the results. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished product. They look almost brand new, right? Yes, so um, this is basically what I do to my brushes to get them like brand new. My beauty blenders too. That's what that one look like. And this one. This right here is like um, as good as it's going to get, but that's cool. All the other brushes are clean, and I'm so excited to use them. I'm always excited to use them all over again. So that's it, y'all. Please, if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.